together. No. Great. Also, for more details on the technical roadmap, hop on our GitHub. Like our issues will be a great place uh, to look at what are the things we're trying to solve and what kinds of stuff we're working on right now. Yep. Fair enough. Thanks. Cool. cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next up, we have PG. Hey guys, can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Hey, hey, very excited to be here. Uh, congrats on everything. Um, I guess my question is more high level, but um, you know, we've seen this layer one worse and you know, oftentimes it's not the best deck, the one that succeeds. Um, so I was wondering, first of all, how do you position yourself like among like the L1 landscape and also like um, what's on your roadmap in terms of like um, in incentivizing developers in terms of like grant programs, ecosystem funds, uh, uh, when, when would we expect an announcement on that side? Yeah, I can, I can take that one. I, I think, you know, while you might think of them as L1 wars, I, I think in many ways this is the Web3 space trying to figure out uh, what, you know, the right way a blockchain should be built, what trade-offs are going to be made between different technologies, uh, and it's in a constantly evolving process. I think also the use cases we've seen have changed a lot over the years. Uh, NFTs obviously became very big last year. This year, you know, maybe DAOs are going to be the big thing, um, and maybe we're going to grow. Maybe gaming will be huge. I think it's hard for us to predict exactly those things, and those things kind of inform and guide the trade-offs people make in this space. So, you know, I, I think you know our goal is to really just be very user-driven, or and be very decentralized. Uh, the things we kind of come and distinguish ourselves with, I think, are just being extremely reliable and safe from day one. We've been building this tech for a long time. We know how it operates. We've, we've operated in very much a mean like environment. Uh, and then from you know the next thing, of course, is performance. That's obvious at this point. Uh, we've got a lot, a lot of novel things we've done with respect to our consensus protocol, the way we split consensus, uh, consensus execution, and the way we can parallelize transactions in a, in a very scalable way. Um, for those, you, you probably can read our blog, our blog post uh, and, and look at the uh, technical papers on those. And the third thing is just really being, uh, kind of mentions the first thing I talked about, which is being adaptable. Given that technology can change a lot over the years, uh, we want to make sure that we are positioning our, our chain in a way that can adjust to these new use cases as well as new technology that comes out of the space. We're very lucky to be kind of in the early phases of Web3. Uh, I think a lot of us were, were probably too, uh, we missed the Web2 kind of train. Uh, and it's just a very exciting time for everyone in this space to be able to kind of adapt to the new technology and the new use cases coming forward. Uh, and that's our, our goal is to be a very generational technology that lasts throughout the years. Nice, thanks for that. If, I guess a uh, quick follow up on that. So are you, are you going to be targeting mainly like um, you know, existing like web free devs, are you opening up to like, you know, web two devs also like, are you going to be like bootstrapping a native ecosystem versus like going after all the ETH projects? Uh? Great question. So I think, you know, we're, we're just a general L1, uh, general purpose L1 blockchain. We're welcome to all kinds of use cases on top of it. We are uh, going to be probably uh, talking about some very exciting partnerships we have in the, in the coming uh, weeks uh, with a bunch of different players that, um, that I think will help to also bootstrap the ecosystem in, in a meaningful way. Uh, so stay tuned for that. All right. Um, last quick question. Um, I'm wondering what are you doing in terms of like fostering zero knowledge research overall? And also if you're looking at like, you know, like privacy preserving applications that use zero knowledge and if you have any, any plans or any program for that. Yeah, we're really excited about this technology. We have a couple of people that are, that are experts in this space that work on our team. Um, we don't have much to comment on our immediate plans here. Uh, it also is worth pointing out some interesting uh, legislation from the EU that happened recently around that space that we need to kind of also take into account and consideration. Um, but, but yeah, we're really excited about the technology and, and we'll hopefully have something to share with our future plan. Point. All right, thanks. Yeah. And good luck for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, APT get one, two, three. Sorry for the funny username. Can you hear it's me? <laughs> yeah, uh, I was actually trying to work on the NFT uh, modules that were written on the Aptos or Dev site. So I was able to create collections, but the tokens aren't really getting created. So I think the code doesn't work there. If you guys could take a look at it, it would be super helpful. Sure. I, I'd highly recommend you sharing uh, the code that you're running in the dev channel or like a GitHub gist or something. Um, we'd absolutely love to help you debug and understand 
where the any issues may be. Um, but it's going to be a little difficult, I think, to do that via this Discord call. But we would, you know, absolutely love to help you. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Kellos, 313. Hi, guys. Hello, what can we do for you? Um, so I'm just joining it to our Aptos family. Week. Welcome. It's a really great project, great community. So uh, I just want to understand a couple things. As I understand, uh, as much of nodes we have, our network will be more faster, secure, etc. So it's correct, yes? The more nodes we have, the more secure. Is that yes. your question? Sorry. Yes. It is like uh, the more nodes we have, the harder it is to attack our network. So it is correct. Okay. So, you should uh, the, the stake. What I want to understand, uh, when we will we start to incentivize a test, uh, have we any limitation about how much nodes can build up one person? I mean, one person, just one node. Uh, any QAC, something like this. Sure. Uh, yeah, so the model that we'll be using is distributed, uh, or sorry, uh, delegated proof of stake. Um, and so there is not necessarily an incentive for running 100 nodes uh, your, yourself in this case, because your voting uh, is proportional to the amount of stake that people delegate to yourself. Uh, so instead of running you know, 100 nodes, uh, really, the best thing that one could do in a system like this is to run maybe a few nodes, but to ensure that their uptime um, and their availability is as high as possible so that people trust that delegating to this node is, is going to result in making sure the node is always around to vote when it needs to. Okay, okay, it's clear. Thanks. Thank you. Next up. Uh, and I think this might be our last question, uh, is Neil. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yes. Uh, so will we have a wallet soon? That is a great question. Uh, it depends on what you want the wallet for. So there are a couple of different teams that are actually working on wallets just in the ecosystem. I know that Magnum is already working on a wallet uh, just for his startup, just so they can prototype against something. Um, we super welcome any kind of community participation and proposals in terms of what a Wallet Connect protocol might look like, like Web3 to Wallet communication. Um, and otherwise, it's likely in the next uh, two weeks that I will probably build a uh, wallet um, that's, that's very minimal just to unblock people who are trying to do Web3 development. So think about like a web3.js library, but for Aptos that communicates with uh, our, our prototype Aptos wallet. Okay, that's great. I also wanted to ask you about the ecosystem grants. Those will be coming, um, probably not in the next week, um, but they, they will be coming relatively soon. I don't know if, if Avery wants to. Yeah, I think is it you know, part of my ambassador program, we're also looking uh, in parallel, I think for the previous question around ecosystem funds and ecosystem grants. Uh, we unfortunately don't have any, any information to uh, share at this time, but we are definitely investigating this and trying to find the best way possible to help us see the ecosystem with funding. Okay, thank you guys. Cool, thank you. There's a couple more questions in the thread. <laughs> two minutes we go through them. Sure. I have so much trouble finding this thread every time. Uh, let's see. Any intern positions? Yes. For sure. Um, feel free to submit your resume through there or, or ping one of us. Um, if you are a you know, computer science student, um, or potentially some of the other things that we have availabilities there on. We are absolutely interested in uh, speaking to you as well. Uh, and if you are post being a CS student and you are a CS professional, 
Um, and even if you're an OCS professional, I highly recommend you take a look at our careers page. We are hiring across a wide range of disciplines, and we would love to work with you. Just to call it on the intern side, it looks like we don't currently have intern positions on our career site. So if you do want an internship position, choose one of those engineering roles and just make it very explicit that you are interested in an internship and not looking for a full-time position. And we'll make sure that it gets right into the right place. Uh, let's see. Sorry, some of these are, are very good questions. I just want to go through and see if there's anything we can answer quickly. Uh, let's see. The CLI to interact with the network. Soon. <laughs> Soon, yes. Uh, so if you're doing move development, there are CLIs for you to build move modules and interact with them locally. Uh, Greg actually is working on uh, improving that whole flow. Um, so if you have any concerns, you can uh let us know in a github issue or in the dev channel i was about to say ping us please don't necessarily uh, message us directly a lot of us have a dms turned off um and and most of the things that we get dms can definitely be mentioned in the public channels as well uh a chat moderator all of that is coming with our community manager oh, great answer cool is that good there's a question of uh how difficult is it for you to work with the regulators given that we are building the safest L1 blockchain? Um, I mean, our, our plan is to work with this community and launch this network, um, just to be very clear. And we we will hope to launch like a certain Q3. We'll give money details far and far in advance with respect on how we do this launch together as, as a community. Cool. Uh, it is noon. Thank you all very much for joining us on this Move Mondays. We will be doing another one at the same time next week. Uh, we look forward to seeing you there. If you have any other questions that weren't answered or anything else, please feel free to hit us up in the uh, Dev Discussion channel uh, or any of the other channels we have in our Discord. Please apply to our jobs, check out our uh, GitHub issues to contribute, and uh, more details on all of your questions will be coming soon. Have a good week, everyone.